That is intercepted. And that's Jay Ward who has had himself a night. Now with the 134th selection of the 2023 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings picked Jay Ward safety at LSU. And probably like you, I'm thinking, that's eh, a pretty crowded room. Why would we need another safety? Well, this guy's a jack of all trades, plays all the positions, and oh, by the way, he's a leader, he hustles, and he hits. Let's take a look at the film. I think you're gonna love it. Now, three of the things I love most about Jay Ward. Number one is his leadership. Number two is his hustle. And number three is how much he likes to hit. But how do you find out those things on film? I think this is a perfect example of exactly what you're gonna get with Jay Ward on your defense. You'll see this play right here. LSU is in a zone blitz, but watch these two guys right here. There's a lot of conversation back and forth between the safeties. Ward's trying to get everybody lined up, but once the ball snapped, you're going to see these two guys filling the flat. Nobody's in the middle. Ward's able to just make a football play, come up and rally, but it's what happens after this play, to me, that matters the most. As Ward comes up and makes this tackle, you're going to see him stand up and start getting after this guy. Now, this isn't him being a jerk. These are two guys that respect each other, that want to be good. This is somebody making somebody else accountable for their actions as well. Now, another aspect to Ward's game is his versatility. So you're gonna see him throughout film room here all over the place. In this case, he's a safety. And he's playing some type of quarters or like a quarters like coverage. And you get the dreaded scissors route. So he is inside of number three, but they switch, but watch that break on the football. He knows exactly where to go. Breaks on the ball, turns defense into offense. Great ball skills once that ball is up in the air. Now, another impressive part of Ward's game at safety is the fact that he can cover ground. And in this case, you're seeing LSU playing a middle closed defense, meaning like a three deep style of defense in the deep red zone. This ball's on a 10 yard line. Now, why do you do that? Because normally this free safety, if he drops back, he's just guarding a goalpost. He has no opportunity to help out on any of these outside routes. But watch Ward on this play. As soon as he starts backing up, he's looking at that quarterback. The quarterback is staring this way, so he's already working. But once that ball's released, look at that ground he covered. He covered probably 35, 40 yards on this play to make a PBU in the end zone. All right, now on this play, you're going to see Ward line up in more of a nickel-type position. So he's playing outside on the slot. He's very, very good in zone coverage. His zone awareness is excellent. And this play proves it right here. You'll see him lined up inside the slot. As he gets up the field, he knows the back is releasing. He gets himself a little bit of a chuck on this receiver, but his body is gonna go to this guy, but his vision goes back to the running back. He's able to break up on the football and make the tackle. Very, very good zone technique and awareness. Now, another thing about Ward is he's playing the slot here. He's playing kind of like a nickel defender, but in the run game, he looks more like a linebacker. This play exemplifies him on the ground as well as any play. Now, if you notice, his vision is still toward the backfield, and he's gonna notice this offensive lineman on the pull. As soon as he sees that, he's north and south, but he blocks the blocker, blows him up, comes off, and makes a tackle for almost zero gain. You know, that, that's an amazing type play. We don't see a lot of DBs that can play the run like this. All right, so you try to run inside the guy, can't get there. Why don't you try running outside? In this case, you have a tight end and a wide receiver. Look at that long arm engagement, just like a defensive lineman fights off the block and he's such a sure tackler. Look at that, brings the running back to the ground. Very, very good in space. Very, very good tackler in space as well. All right, so you can't run inside him, can't run outside him. Maybe you could bait him on some type of screen. Let's see what happens here. In this case, you'll see Ward again in the slot. He's dropping back. Now they're taking a the tight end to block the corner but they have an offensive lineman this time trying to get downfield to get on Ward, but Ward's recognition is so good. Once he sees that lineman come at him, he knows what time it is. He plants that foot in the ground and gets north and south and watch him on impact. Boom, running back going backwards. Wrap up the hit. Excellent, excellent tackler. All right, another great example of Ward in space, and this is why I think maybe as a base down nickel, he might have some opportunities. But you get this guy in space, in this case, they have a tight end flexed out. They're gonna try to block him again. His ability though, watch that swim, the hand on the back of the elbow of the tight end to be able to get off and look at the tackle again. Once he makes contact, that running back doesn't fall forward. That's kind of a signature of San Francisco's defense. All right, another example of Ward and his discipline with his vision. 
Now he's at free safety, right deep middle of the field. And this play, they're trying to they're trying to trick him. They're going to pull two offensive linemen this way, which usually means the ball goes where the offensive lineman goes. But this is a bit of a trick play, and Ward is not going to be fooled. Not just that he reads it, recognizes it, gets north and south, but watch him at impact. Boom! Puts a shoulder on the lead blocker, still gets a leg out to make the tackle. Unbelievable play. He makes an impact when he gets to the football. All right, we've shown his leadership qualities. We've shown how smart he is, his awareness and zone, what he does when he makes a tackle, his impact. How about hustle? This is an effort play right here. Watch Ward as he's really the eighth man in the box. This guy's reeling around. He plants his foot. Look at this. Perfect line. But when he gets to the ball, boom. He doesn't just push him out of bounds. He makes a play. All right, so you like the physicality, you like the hits, so do I. Let's just take a look at what this young man can do. I think this play here is still one of my favorites I've seen in a long, long time. All right, here we go, just a quarterback keeper. Well, where's Ward? He's not even on the screen. Wait, there he is. Hustles when you get to the ball, when you don't think you can make a play, and he gets there and he just blows up this quarterback. Watch him down here, running back, bouncing outside. Great angle. Hit, wrap, run the feet. Running back going backwards in open space. Coming down on the paint. See him on the outside. Boom. Look at that. the hit, the wrap, the lift, the running of the feet. The guy is unbelievable. Here he is, a heat-seeking missile. Bam. Eh, let's just throw him to the ground as well. I mean, everywhere this guy goes, he makes an impact. Here he is coming off the edge. Forget about the blocker. Redirect. Look at this hustle. Never giving up. Never giving up. Doesn't think he can make the play. Still finds a way to get in on it. I mean, this is special teams right here. Inside the paint, bouncing around, gets up, makes another tackle. The guy is relentless, and he makes an impact when he gets to the football.